what is up YouTube I hope everyone's doing really good let me know if you guys can hear me clearly or not I'm here at work right now as you guys can see um, I'm on my lunch break it's about 1 p.m. and today what I really want to talk about <laughs> new scientists you're always first man uh, what I want to talk about today is really um, should I on the languages about jQuery and JavaScript I think this is a very important topic because I literally, even though I answer this in almost every Q&A, every single time I do a Q&A, someone always asks me, should I learn jQuery or JavaScript first? Uh, another person, what's up Neil, someone else would ask, is jQuery even dying? Is it even worth learning jQuery? Some hater on a, one of my other videos said, why are you recommending people to learn jQuery? You're dumb, you're a poser. Uh, you shouldn't learn jQuery, jQuery is dying. Why would you need to use jQuery anymore? Um, and I think that's a very, uh, very immature answer for someone to give uh, in regards to that because a lot of people have said PHP is dying. A lot of people have said that, you know, no one's using PHP anymore. You need to go to Python. You need to go to Node.js. Uh, you need to learn C Sharp or you need to learn, uh, you know, um, everything else before PHP. But PHP is not dying. PHP, although it's a very, um, what do you call that? legacy uh, type of uh, code is still something that people still use every single day uh, especially in Orange County a lot of people use PHP so the um, question then is should I learn jQuery or JavaScript first which one should I learn uh, let's see you're going through booleans right now okay guess good, good to know well just to answer the question then just to answer the question so everyone knows uh, the language that you should learn first is JavaScript and I think this is something that's very important to go over because uh, a lot of people want to go straight into jQuery. A lot of people who are actually learning JavaScript right now, when they just get a taste of jQuery, what do they tend to do, which is a mistake I did, is that I went straight into uh, jQuery and I forgot all my JavaScript. I got so used to using a library. By the way, jQuery isn't a, a framework, it's a, it's a library. And what I did, my mistake is that I went straight into jQuery. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, I'm about to sneeze. What I did is I went straight to jQuery and I was like, forget this, I'm not gonna go to JavaScript, I'm just gonna learn jQuery. But JavaScript is very, very important to learn. Okay, listen very carefully, okay? As easy and as fun, jQuery is very fun to use. As fun as jQuery is to use, JavaScript is something you must know if you want to be considered a real developer today. No matter what, if, even if you're a back end developer, even if you're really good at design and you, you're really good at making things look nice in the front end, Someone who's considered a legitimate, good developer, a good coder, is someone who is good at JavaScript. Why? JavaScript is honestly one of the probably the most, from my experience and from what I've heard from even developers who are up there have told me that JavaScript is actually one of the hardest languages you could ever learn. It's so complicating, it's a pain in the butt. Um, even to this day, I don't like working with JavaScript at times because it's just, it's just so complicated and it's not something you could easily be good at after you put in many years. Uh, so uh, yeah, so what I would do again guys is what would I do is that I would go straight into JavaScript, make sure you have a good foundation of that. And the question then is, some people are asking too, is jQuery dying? jQuery isn't dying. Whoever says jQuery is dying is really dumb. jQuery is just like PHP you could say. Uh, PHP is a legacy, right? It's like it's a legacy type of code, same thing with jQuery, where so many companies use jQuery, they still need people to use it. For example, did you guys know this, okay? Uh, about 65% uh, of the top 10% websites in the world right now, okay? The, out of the 10,000 top websites, out of all the websites in the world, the top 10,000 of them, okay, use, use, I'm sorry, that came out wrong. Out of the top 10,000 10, websites in the world, 65% of them use jQuery. So jQuery, is it worth learning? Is it important to learn? Yes, it's extremely important to learn. Someone who says don't use it is no comment. But anyway, uh, let's go down to the questions if anyone has any Q uh, questions for today. Um, so Peter says jQuery is still very popular here in Central Europe. Yeah, it's really popular. I mean, why would you not want to use it? Uh, it's, very, it's fast, it works well. Um, you know, I mean, vanilla JavaScript is fun to use too, but why not use a library when you can do so much with it so much faster? So good question. Uh, now, Dr. Web Dev says you have to know the foundation before you build. Yes. Um, again, this is really important, guys. To be considered a leg legitimate even programmer, right, developer, what you need to know today is JavaScript. You have to have a very strong foundation of JavaScript. I guarantee you, if you're good at JavaScript, learning jQuery will be nothing. 
if you're good at JavaScript, jQuery will be nothing to you. Why? Because if you jQuery isn't gonna last forever. But what will last for a very long time, what will be here for a very long time, and what's still being used for a very long time is JavaScript. So first you need to make sure you're good at JavaScript. For example, it's like English, right? It's like English. Literally, when you go to the Philippines, I'm Filipino, when I go when my family goes to the Philippines and when I visit, uh, when they go to school, the main thing all right, one second. So, what, for example, uh, when you go to when you go to school in the Philippines, the main thing that they teach in the Philippines in school is English. In China, what do they teach? They teach English. In Korea, what do they teach? They teach English. Why? Because to be honest, to succeed worldwide, you can't just know your language from your country. The most popular language in the world that's just used so much in regards to succeeding in the world is English. But that's how JavaScript is. If you know JavaScript, you're someone who could succeed anywhere. All right, so all right, let's go down to questions. Good, good questions. Uh, I had to actually kick someone from the video because he's trying to advertise his channel. And no, don't do that. Okay, let's keep going. But what's up, everyone? Thank you guys for even getting on here and even watching me. I definitely do appreciate that. Uh, Social artist said I started with a bit of jQuery, then straight onto JS. Good idea. Uh, Adam said jQuery is a devil. <laughs> Adam's actually trying to uh, work on some stuff in jQuery, and he's getting a little frustrated. It's a little funny watching, <laughs> but he's getting there, Adam. Um, now, social artist says this. He says it's weird now doing some jQuery and realizing how easy it is and mix and matching between jQuery and JS. Yes, jQuery is just so much easier. Why? You use less code, pretty much, to do what you want to do. Uh, it, it looks cleaner, to be honest. It's it, it's very easy to work with. The API, the documentation on jQuery is simply amazing. Where literally you just Google what you need to do and you can find what you need to do online, and that's it. Um, good comment on that. What is up, Madness, the Crusader Rabbits? What did your interviewer ask about Bootstrap? Uh, my interviewer was a CEO of my company. He's not a coder. Uh, but I told him that I made my website about Bootstrap. Uh, but he, he does know the languages that we use. And uh, he pretty much told me, Chris, that's cool that you made it with Bootstrap 3, but, uh, or Bootstrap 4, but uh, we don't use Bootstrap here. I've only used Bootstrap, I think, twice at my company, which is to, to go look at an actual client's website that's already been made and to make changes to it. Guess what though? I was the only person in my company who could do that because I'm the only person who knows Bootstrap. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going down. Good question. Any more questions, guys? That's it. I'm only gonna be here for a couple more minutes too, by the way. Um, Chloe, Chloe Wilson says, I love JS. To me, it's easy and straightforward. Yes, I mean, Josh, that's good, man. I mean, that's not, that's Chloe, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is fun it, once you learn how to do it, but at first, I could say this, JavaScript is a developer killer or a wannabe developer killer. A JavaScript is like that tool you use to separate between the weeds and the wheat. JavaScript is a tool that determines if you're someone who really can code or someone who can't code. Why? Because most of the time, uh, most of the time when someone actually starts getting into JavaScript, what do they do is that they end up giving up because it's too hard for them to learn. And so that is why I say for everyone who gets to JavaScript, it's not easy. It's going to be hard. It's not supposed to be easy. But once you persevere through that, oh my gosh, man, the, there'll be so many opportunities out there. By the way, I'm curious if this works. It looks like there's 35 people watching this right now. Uh, anyone watching, could you guys actually click a like in the video? I just want to see if it actually works, if it actually picks up the likes. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's keep going down. But thank you, guys. Um, let's keep going down. I deleted awesome vlogs. <laughs> Dang, it worked. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it skyrocketed. Oh, my gosh. It's at 17 likes right now. <laughs> you guys are insane. Oh, you guys just made my day. That's so funny. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh shoot. It's, it's, you know, I don't consider him, he's an intern, but I don't consider him an intern because he's actually really good, so. I'm watching you live. You're watching me live? No, you're not. You're watching me live right now? Oh yeah. shoot. Do you guys know who this is? This is Jason. Yeah. The guy who the became my boss. <laughs> I used his face as a thumbnail and I got like a thousand oh, views no. in a day. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's keep going down. <laughs> People are actually watching me in my work while I go live outside of my work on YouTube. What's up, Batik? Adam, yeah, you're close. Um, let's keep going down. Wow, I got all the likes. That's awesome, man. You guys are so funny. It actually worked. Warren, <laughs> uh, if you learn JavaScript, you can learn any new language fast. JavaScript is the most popular language. Yes, if you know JavaScript, I'll tell you this, PHP will be so much easier. If you know PHP, JavaScript will be easy because they're just so close in language. And by the way, you could, you're gonna notice that my camera's shaking a lot because my lens didn't come in yet. And so, my screen's a little smaller than usual. Um, New Scientist said, I heard JavaScript is a pain to work with in the back end. Is it true? Can you actually use jQuery in the back end? 
I don't do much of backend yet. I'm just learning PHP, so I can't say that. I don't, you don't, I don't think you use jQuery in the backend, but you use JavaScript in the backend, which is Node.js. But JavaScript is used in the backend as well. That's why it's very important to learn it if you're trying to be a backend developer, because you're going to work with a lot of things in the front end as a backend developer. And the way you integrate with things in the front end is that you need to know JavaScript, which helps a lot. Um, but yeah, all right, let's keep going down. Madness for 831 says, what parts of JS do you need to know first? Uh, I think you just follow any track. If you're learning a treehouse right now, there's a good track you can learn. Uh, you know, starting off with variables, just learning what a variable is. Um, working with arrays are extremely important. You have to know how to work with arrays because arrays are just essential to everything. You use arrays of everything. Right now, we're trying to integrate with UPS. Although Jason's doing it with PHP, he's using a, he's creating our our backend, um, integrating with UPS and creating a shopping cart using arrays with PHP. And so it's very similar. Arrays are something you want to make sure you know. Um, and for me though, the hardest thing for me to grasp when I first started learning JavaScript were variables. That made no sense to me. Like what the heck is a variable? Uh, good question, man. Yeah, jQuery is front end, it's not back end at all. Um, all right, let's see what else. Uh, the Crusader Rabbits, why do people keep saying PHP is dead? People keep saying that because they don't know programming. <laughs> they don't really know code or they don't really know where everything is going at right now. Even though PHP has been around even before Facebook existed, uh, PHP is something that everyone uses. It's essential because there's so many companies and just, just think about it. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's used everywhere. It's used in the East Coast and, and especially here in LA, you know? And so uh, PHP is just something that everyone uses, number one, because even Facebook still uses it. Uh, it has a very strong foundation. Now, there are leaks in PHP that are very frustrating, but just the API document documentation is so great that you can really just learn to do it, work with it right away. So, But I'm not a PHP pro. Jason is the guy that you just saw me run into. He is a PHP guy. He's pretty good, um, almost as good as me. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, let's keep going, guys. I got to go soon. I got to go soon, but let's keep going. Uh, All right. Hey Chris, would you say Python is in demand? I think Python is popular, but I don't know too much about it because I'm not studying it. I can't really say how popular it is, but it is very popular. Um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I don't want to give you answers to something I don't know. Um, Jim Dan Dandy, do you know Jason? Jason, that is you. I know that for a fact. Jim is Jason. Everyone say hi to Jim. <laughs> uh, do I have a website? Yeah, it's ChrisShawnLife.com. Is JavaScript using app development? Mobile app? I don't think it is. No, it's not. JavaScript is a web, it's a language for the web development. Um, what is your most common use? Social artist is asking me, what do I use most? Do I use JavaScript or jQuery? I use jQuery more than JavaScript at my work because that's, it's just, it's faster for everything that we're doing. Um, now, if I was to build an actual flat out website, I might want to use JavaScript instead. Um, so good question. All right, let's keep going down. Let's keep going down. Um, what can you say about freelancing, how to start? Uh, I actually made a video about that, so just search, search, search for that. I don't want to answer that because I've already done that. Sean, make me Dory sing more. <laughs> um, MZA, thanks for watching my videos. What is, it, what is up, Hunter? What is up, Val Valentine? What is up, Benny? Uh, Peter, he says, by the way, thank you, Chris, for your videos. I've been watching you for two months, started to learn hard code coding three months ago, and now I have my first job offer. Oh, shoot. You just got hired. Oh shoot, Peter. Congratulations, man. Is it a junior front end developer position? What is it? Hey, everyone give a shout out to Peter, man, for getting that job. Good job, dude. What is up, Tom? Uh, Number is asking, do you recommend applying for junior web jobs directly with a company or use a recruiter? Do both, do both. Uh, PHP and JS are so close, yes, I agree. Um, yeah, MZA, Jason, Jason's nickname is Jason because it just sounds similar. Jim, Dandy, Jason, quiet. <laughs> All right, what's up, Ayad? Hey, Ayad, he, Ayad actually um, donated to my Patreon. Thank you so much for that, man. Uh, if you want to meet up and have a talk, let me know, and I'll try to make that time for you. Uh, let's see, let's keep going. Anything else? What is up? What is up? All right, nothing else. What's up, Raphael? Fa is more secure than JS. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone's congratu congratulating you, man. Nice, dude. Nice, Peter. Junior developer position. Con congratulations, dude. All right, guys. This is going to be a short one. I don't like doing long, long live videos. I'm just, I don't, I'm not that type of guy. But uh, I'm going to head out. Um, again, guys, you know, a lot of people have been telling me 
Uh, Chris, why do you just keep talking about motivational stuff? Why don't you teach people code on your channels? I'm not a guy that wants to do tutorials. I don't want to do tutorials. I don't have the time to do tutorials. All I do is I literally vlog my day while I'm living my busy life. That's why I like vlogging over tutorials and making regular YouTube videos because I can literally do it as I live my day. So, all right, guys, I'm going to head out. I know this is a little... I don't think this is one of my better live videos that I've done, um, but it's okay. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to head out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys. You know what? Let's go walk inside my office. Give me one second. Let's say hi. I wonder if anyone's watching. One second. Let's go walk inside. All right, guys. Here's my office. Who's that? <laughs> the owner's here. I gotta go. Bye, guys. <laughs>